To help the surgeon orient the Acrosoft IQ Toric IOL properly in the steep axis, a reference marker is used to mark the 0, 90, and 180 degree meridians of the cornea. The reference marks should be made prior to surgery, while the patient is sitting in an upright position. This avoids any errors in marking due to cyclorotation, a natural rotation of the eye that occurs when the patient reclines. Cyclorotation can cause the eye to rotate up to 10 degrees, creating the potential for imprecise marking of the steep axis of the cornea. The surgeon will use these reference marks later in surgery to mark the steep axis. Once the reference marks are placed on the cornea, the surgeon uses the marks to align the axis marker. The axis marker enables the surgeon to place linear ink marks on the cornea, which identify the precise axis of the astigmatism. Using the information derived from keratometry readings and corneal topography, the surgeon rotates the dial on the axis marker to the appropriate degree where the steep axis of astigmatism was identified. The foot plates are then inked using a surgical skin marker. Using the 0, 90, and 180 degree marks as reference, the surgeon aligns the axis marker and gently depresses the instrument onto the cornea. This produces two linear ink marks at 180 degrees from each other, which represent the location of the steep axis of the astigmatism. After the axis marks indicating the location of the steep axis are placed on the cornea, the surgeon implants the single-piece Acrosoft IQ Toric IOL into the capsular bag using the same method employed for routine capsular bag implantation of a traditional monofocal IOL. After implantation, the surgeon begins the process of aligning the marks on the Acrosoft IQ Toric IOL with the steep axis marks on the cornea. When the lens is within 15 to 20 degrees of its final intended placement in the eye, the surgeon removes all residual viscoelastic and gently rotates the lens into its final position, ensuring that the marks on the lens are aligned with the steep axis marks on the cornea. The surgeon then gently compresses the lens to the back of the capsular bag to ensure that the lens will remain in the desired position following surgery.